Hello, happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. I went to a prayer breakfast today, so I had to, you know, be festive, and I wanted to wear a hat, because I love hats, if you hadn't figured that out already. This hat was given to me. This is a vintage hat, probably from the 80s. Look at that dynasty-wide brim there. Is that not lovely? It's hard for me to even get it in the photo. It's so big and it's great because you don't need sunshades with this. Of course, in the 80s, we did wear sunshades, but I wanted to show my festive eyeshadow. And you guys, you don't know it, but it's hot today and I didn't put on enough deodorant. So if I make a face, I'm looking good, but I either got to put on more perfume, take a, you know, take a little freshen up some kind of way but this is the outfit of the day yeah too, too much information but why should I sit up here and lie while you sitting up here watching me go you know so it just happened we 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 went to an area that's warmer than our area and I've been out all day went to that prayer breakfast and I had on my Boucheron cologne my Boucheron perfume but you know after a few hours out in that heat I, I don't know what happened, but anyway, anyway, you know, here's my outfit of the day, you know, welcome to my channel, um, I'm wearing my earrings that I got from Sears for special occasion, I got these over the Christmas season, I'm wearing my pearls, which was a gift to myself last um, Easter, because I felt like I needed pearls, I have such a skinny neck, I probably would like it if my pearls were a little bit like a choker kind of pearls, but I guess I'd have to Mickey Moto up and pay the big bucks to get some pearls skinny enough for my little neck to hang exactly where I want them. The good thing about this um, warmer weather is that, you know, my glow is, my glow is for real, you guys. That That's coming from me, and I like that, <laughs> you know? And this is my outfit. You guys, I had, I had to finally, an, Another little story. Today, I'm wearing this Forever 21 skater dress. You see how it fits at the top? I don't think it fits as good. You just see how it puckers right here? I'm accustomed to getting my clothes from Sears, and I don't. They Sears, their, their um, buyers or whatever, or their, whoever, they kind of make sure the clothes fit you know, the way that their customers are accustomed to. So I'm not really accustomed to this, you know, maybe, you know, something I did wrong, but it's just not, in this area here, it's not really hanging the way I'm accustomed to these type of outfits hanging. And um, I buy skater dresses all the time. You see how it is there? So I, I'm thinking maybe I'm not cut out for Forever 21, maybe, I have some old fashioned ideals of how I want things to fit and this is not doing it for me. And um, let me see, you can see the little peplum there and I will show you my shoes and everything too. This is a mini dress, but it is a skater dress. And I put another dress, which is a vintage dress. That's the length I'm accustomed to wearing, which is neat, little over the knee. It's the Vintage Costume National Silk Dress. And I have on my um, sandals that I purchased during the Black Friday sales. I purchased them for this time of year. I can wear them to any formal event or, you know, in the case of church ladies, we will wear them to prayer breakfasts and stuff like that. If we feel like wearing them to those occasions, we will wear it. Um, don't look at my manicure. I just did a quick job on my toes myself. I'm trying to blur it out. And that is that.
story time. I usually don't do a story time on my outfits of the day, but today, the reason why I had to put another dress underneath this dress is because back in my day, we wore a tight mini skirt. See, with a tight mini skirt, you realize when you're behind a shine. But with a loose mini skirt, since I'm getting that breeze all the time, I was out in public and um, my mother was with me and she kept on saying, don't bend over, don't bend over. You know, you got your business in the street, don't bend over. And I'm like, what is this woman talking about? I do not understand this. And finally, I realized that every time I bent down and, you know, just why is it on this occasion I'm deciding that I need to bend down more than normal? For whatever reason, everything was on the bottom shelf. I rebuked that devil in the name of Jesus. So therefore, I was flashing people. I was in Sears. I was flashing people as I was shopping. I'm sorry to those of you who I offended. You know, and I'm thinking right now, you know, I don't know if it was a good underwear day or not, but everybody else knows, you know what I'm saying? So I said, I'm, I'm not going to be able to change at this point. I'm not going to be able to make that connection at this point. I can wear a tight bodycon mini skirt. Therefore, when it slips up, I can feel it slipping up. But a skater where it's already folded out and I'm getting that breeze all the time, that needs to be kneeling because I forget that when I stoop, I am flashing. So that is why I decided, I came up with this brilliant idea of turning the skater dress into a Marilyn Monroe outfit. And without further ado, um, you know, I hope you can appreciate this put together. <laughs> Jesus loves you, and I love you with all the Jesus in me. We gotta make it work sometime, you guys. Um, be blessed, beautiful.